Hey guys, it's Deathbringer. Today I wanted to bring you a quick kill guide on trading kills during the kill event. So the benefits of trading kills is you don't actually lose any of the troops you send out as long as you have the hospital space for them. All you have to do is find somebody that has a good amount of troops or a good amount of power, and then you take whatever tiered troops they have, go to your event, which I'm about to right now so that you guys can see. All you have to do is go over to the event tab, down to the individual event and hop over to rules. You can see killing each tier soldier gives you X amount of points, like tier 9s give me 72 points. For this I need 47, or I'm sorry, 4.7 million points. Doing the math out of that, it's a little over 65,000 troops of tier 9s. So, what I've done is I've talked to this person already and asked, hey, I need to trade some kills, would you like to? And they say either yes or no. All right, get some coordinates that you want to port over to. Um, what level and how many, so on and so forth. You get to choose the heroes. Then that's the exact number that I needed to complete the event. She said that she could send out 50,000 right now. She'll have to heal between the trades. The rest of her troops are tier 10s. So uh, in order for me to save my shield, which I still have two days left on my three-day shield for the kill event, just if they don't have a shield, or even if they do, if you guys are marching to a resource plot, I don't know if many people actually are aware of this, if you're marching to a resource plot and somebody else is marching there as well, it will not pop either of your shields because it's technically not a battle. You're only going to the resource plot. Now, once they get there, once your troops or their troops get there, all you have to do is wait for the attack to occur because since your troops are already on the way you're not initiating a fight so it will not pop your shield so that's all we've done is i sent my troops over to this electric mine she sent hers and we met on the way and she attacked my stuff we've had a really equal trade so far i completed most of the event as you saw a second ago but it's really easy because all you have to do is figure out how many troops you need, let them know, they'll send the amount towards the resource plot, you go ahead and do the same damn thing, and uh, you send your full march, so that way you can kill as many as you can with, uh, without losing a whole bunch of your stuff. And then, from there you can complete the kill event, you can complete the Ace Commander, or at least get higher on the Ace Commander rewards list for completing your dailies, and from that, it's really simple and a very effective way to trade kills without actually losing any power and without losing any troops because as long as you have the hospital space, you're good to go. So I'm going to wrap it up right here. Uh, she said that she's going to send the rest of the troops here in a minute, so that's why I'm still waiting. But the other aspect of this is when uh, I'm done getting my kills, I'm going to go ahead and ask her hey how many points do you need from tier 9 troops because that's what I have and she'll tell me that she needs this many points still and then I'll do the math or she'll do it whichever she wants to do and we will find out exactly how many tier 9s I need to send to the resource plot so that she can complete her kill event and then once we do that both of our kill events will be completely done and we have never even had to pop our shields if we have one because like I said I just completed my event here a second ago. I'll show you. HQ buff is still two days and six hours. And this battle, seven minutes ago. Seven minutes ago, my troops were attacked. And it, they were on, both of our troops were on our way to the resource plot when the battle, or when uh, I still had my shield on. So that right there is proof as well that you're not going to pop your shield as long as you do the right way. You you cannot wait for their troops to actually get there. That's the most important thing that I can stress other than making sure that you have the hospital space. If you don't have the hospital space, your troops are dead. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I'm not going to show the other trade because you guys only really need to see one in order to know what's going on. So from that, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys off. Hope you have a good one. And my next video should be coming out within the next couple of days. All right.